In today's video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to navigate the Unicode F-Series menus. You'll notice that on the home page, you have a quick search option. This allows you to be able to search a key by code, card, or SN number. You also have a search option. This allows you to be able to search by code, card, key blank, SN, lock system, vehicle make, lock manufacturer, vehicle model, cuts, or the year of the vehicle. What I'm going to show you now is how to search by car. You'll simply tap on car, insert the car number for the key you're trying to cut, press confirm. You're going to press next at the bottom. On this screen here, you will then select the correct SN number depending on the key that you're trying to cut or the code series you're trying to cut or the number of uh, cuts on the key. You can also press back and you can search by key blank. So I'm going to put in a SC1. You'll see it pop up here. Then I'll press confirm and then press next. This gives you the different options of the cards available for this specific key. From this menu, I'm going to go and press next here. And this takes you to where you can actually insert the cuts for your key. You also have the option to insert the code for that specific key. Or if you have a F900 or one of the other models that supports the camera reader, you can go to the decoding and be able to decode keys using the camera reader on the machine. For this specific example, I want to insert the cuts for a key for this specific key and then I'm going to go down to the bottom here and this is where you can enable the cutting feature the engraving feature and the automatic feeder unit so if you want to only cut the key you will disable the other two features and leave this one highlighted if you wanted to engrave you will select the engraving feature and if you wanted to automatically feed the key you will select it and you can change these up depending on what feature you're trying to use depending on your needs. For this example, I'm going to select all three and then press next. On this screen here, you have the option to select your engraving model and depending on the engraving model that you have, you can select it and then you can come down to rows of text and insert any text that you would like to insert here. Once you have the text that you want, you can just press confirm and you can tap, go to the back to, to insert the text for the back of the key. Tap on it insert whatever text you desire and then press confirm. At this point you will, you will press next on the machine on the tablet and it will take you to where you would know how to load the key. From this point I'm going to go back to the home screen and show you our settings menu. Under settings, you have a couple different options. You have the machine info page where it has different information uh, pertaining to your machine, such as the serial number, among other uh, features of your machine. You have the calibration menu, your settings menu, and this is where you can go to perform your updates, as you can see here, and then you have your maintenance menu. You also have the silica menu on the side here, and if you tap on it, it has a couple different options that you can access from any point on your machine. This allows you to be able to reset the axis of your machine, open or close the clamp, or open or close the hood for the machine. The last feature I want to show you today is going to be the Cure Jobs folder. This is where you can go if you've sent the job to your machine from your computer to be able to access that job and complete that job. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to visit our website at ilco.us and we'll see you in the next video.